people that got this and this is another thing I want to say specifically for my system but there's one thing I want to say can go for everybody when it comes to name calling over here on this here social media thing right <laughs> if you're gonna say names then why not why wait there's always something negative why wait that somebody get on your nerve and it's something you don't look at that beautiful sky see how pretty the sky is what God has for me it is for me and you too but what i want to say right quick is why wait there's always something negative see what i'm saying because that's why i call hypocrites for clout why wait for something to put your brother or sister down or share your beef that you got with somebody that's going to rouse a lot of attention and then try to sound so strong and bold and bad coming against your brother and sister to me when i see stuff like that i don't want no part of nobody around like that i don't want to build nothing with nobody like that because if you did it to them it may be their day today but it could be mine tomorrow or next year or five years from now or ten years from now because that's in you see what i'm saying why wait till it's always something negative to got to speak on somebody's name why not speak on somebody's name when it's something positive? Why not share the people who you secretly watch and admire? If your little country bunking sister is encouraging you, just because you might be a celebrity or you might got all these followers, you ain't got to be embarrassed to share somebody that's encouraging you to put to, to put, put somebody's name out there who's saying something that makes sense. Or you know what? This person speak a lot of truth. Or you know what? I heard what you said and you inspired me to do this. Or you know what? I'm going to piggyback off of you for this, you know? I give people shouts out all the time, you know? It's, it don't take nothing from me. It ain't always something negative. When you hear me, most time when you hear me calling somebody's name on this shit channel, you can go through all every last one of my videos. And you've never heard me apart from one time. You've never heard me call nobody's name to speak on nothing negative. And then one individual, when I call his name, I was only giving my two cents of sharing an example of how he finally reaped what he sold because he did the, the exact same thing happened to him he was laughing at another sister for what happened something publicly embarrassing happened to her and he used his national platform to further laugh at you know that sister regardless of whether he was in agreement or he in agreement or not he shouldn't have done that but look at what happened to him and and it, it was i know it was painful but he kept his he swallowed his pride and kept on moving you know but apart from that you don't hear me on here saying nothing negative about my brothers and sisters speaking on their name when i do call names it's because I'm, I'm repeating something i heard from a brother or sister i say like so-and-so or like so-and-so has come back to my spirit you know or a brother sister i listen to sometimes you adopt some people's you know sayings when you start giving your ear and stuff to them you know and so that's why i just want to put out there you know because i see people talk about you talking so strong about not being afraid to speak on nobody's name but when it's negative but how often do we speak on people's name when it's something positive how often can we give credit and honor where honor is due how often can we just even if it's a stranger say you know what i was watching your post i, I viewed your post today or i was watching your video today i don't know you you don't even have to reach out how often you can't share something that inspires you whether you know the person or not let's promote more of that Put people's name out in a positive light. Stop trying to cover other people's gifts. And I'm not saying this is specifically to you, but that's, you know, you got a lot of people that will try to cover other people's gifts. You got a lot of other people that will watch people in secret and get their momentum from them and go and try to regurgitate. You got a lot of people that will bite off of for their brothers and sisters and then go and try to walk that same path like their brothers and sisters walking. It don't take nothing to say so-and-so have inspired me. See? Because when I see people move like that, then that made me look at you like this person fake. I don't care how much of a big, large following and influence you able to garner up. But when I see and I know what you've been doing and I see how you've been biting off or who you've been biting off or just see how you moving and see you always talk about something negative, speaking on other people's name and some people you don't even know just to get clout, just to get likes, just to get views, just to you know earn some income, t t destroying brothers and sisters that's why there's no trust there's no love in the last days people will be lovers of themselves so for those who saying they truly men and women of god they should be the opposite see the scriptures tells us how the people of the world will be in the last days but so when you see people who claiming 
that they are a mouthpiece for God. Scandalizing. Put, always speaking death, negativity on their brother and sister's name. They're not a true mouthpiece of God. Nobody can't tell me. I don't care if you got a prophetess in front of your name. I don't care if you get on front of a camera and say, God had revealed this to me. I don't care if you have your head cover up and look like you're holy. You have a form. That's a form of godliness. <laughs> I don't care if you got all of that stuff. See, I read that, that Bible. And I know God because I read his word. See what I'm saying? I spend time in his word. So when I see certain characteristics, the root of it is hate. The root of a lot of things is jealousy. The root of a lot of things is envy. The root of a lot of things is control. A hunger and thirst and power for control. The root of a lot of things is covetousness. The root of a lot of things is greed. Judas betrayed Jesus for some change. And after he did that thing, see, he wanted that money so bad. Then that thing, that grief hit him. See, the actions, the grief of his actions began to torment his spirit. It wrenched him. It, it, he couldn't live with himself. He was in torment. There was no rest for the wicked. So what did he do? He had to go and hang himself. He was a coward. He couldn't live with it. See, he hanged himself. Yeah. So speak on people's name. Judge people by the word of God. I want righteous folk judging me. I know God. A lot of people say, the Lord revealed to me, um, God revealed to me, I saw this about uh, pastor so-and-so, I saw this about minister so-and-so, I saw this about uh, so-and-so, and they ain't know, they ain't got no, they can't pick up the phone and call who God and reveal something to them. They don't know nothing about them, and they never had no conversation with them, you know? But using people's name to keep pulling themselves up, keep pulling themselves up. And usually, it's somebody they're speaking on, it's always be somebody who got a bigger, larger platform than them. Somebody whose name is then went around the whole world who have accomplished so much and they try to destroy him. That the spirit of the Antichrist. That ain't the spirit of my God. Mm -mm, that ain't the spirit of my God. So anyway, we're going to speak on people's name. Why wait? And always have something negative to say. Let it be a good report sometime if you really got God in you. If you really love your brother and sister as you love yourself. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Some of these people will never get on camera and talk about they self and talk about their most dark, deepest, painful secrets and tragedies and family problems and things that they are fighting themselves through. But they'll get on there and say, God, reveal them and show them something about you. See what I'm saying? They'll get on there and say, God, show them you. Yeah. But God ain't show them how to get off the system and go and put their hands to the plow. And God ain't give them health and strength to go and work. So they got to get on the internet and tell a lie on God so they can generate some type of income and continue to foster themselves to be comfortable in the atmosphere that they're telling them lies. In. Everything is not of God. Don't always speak on somebody's name when it's always something negative when you get mad with folk. What, what a good thing is. Speak on the positive thing. Yeah, when you're going to speak on somebody's name, that's a modern day murderer. Character assassinators. That's what they is. That's just my little two cents and I'm standing on it ten toes down.